just an incredible success. I, I think when you pan over to the trucks here in a few minutes, you're going to see that, that we don't even have enough room. Uh, we, we literally had hundreds upon hundreds of people come through today. Uh, we had some, some motorcyclists, some, some Jeeps who'd been collecting for the past couple months. We got cash donations and just such an incredible outpouring of support. As you know, this all goes towards Hope Family Services. It's a great organization within our community. These are the folks who make sure that come Christmas morning, some of the kids who, who really need help the most are gonna wake up and they're gonna find some, some brand new presents. And so it's, we're so happy that uh, this is our fourth year and every year it just gets bigger and better. We couldn't have done it without them. Uh, they were here bright and early, long before I even got out of bed, helping set up tents and get everything organized. I have the captain here of the Explorers, and maybe he wants to just say something about what it feels like to participate in this kind of volunteerism. First off, I want to say thank you to the community, everyone that came out here, supporting us, supporting everyone, and to the Explorers. Thank you very much because everyone came here, volunteered their time, and it's definitely a success. That's all I have to say. I think it was a very big success, and thank you to everyone. Clearly, there, there is a need, and in fact, we've, we've got another call, car pulling up and, and unloading some toys. And, you're right. This is something year round. And I'll tell you, there are so many worthwhile uh, charitable organizations that that need help within this community. I don't know if you saw the other day, it was in the newspaper that they said the Bradenton and Sarasota area out of all of the U.S. is one of the most giving communities that they've ever seen. And I think this is just a testament to that. Um, this is just our opportunity. Uh, you know, people need food on their tables, they need clothes on their back, but, but sometimes let's not forget our most vulnerable citizens, and that's our kids. And, and sometimes our kids just need to get a big smile on their face and, and get a brand new toy on Christmas morning. And so we're happy we could all be a part of it. It was a great, a great crew here, and we're so happy to be a part of it. We've been, we've been working with them, and, and I'm sure you'll talk to them for the past four years. We looked around the community and we, we recognized right off the bat that this was a top-notch organization that, that were contributing so much to the people in, in need the most in, in Bradenton and really throughout Manatee County. And again, what really touched our hearts is that they were, they were also connecting with the kids. And, and you know, I've said it a hundred times, the, these young men and women, even the ones standing right here, these are our future leaders. They're going to be making decisions for you and I in the years to come. And so the more we can do with them, the more we can serve as role models, the more we can show them what it's all about to, to give, give, give. Uh, I, think, I think that's what's most important. We are the friendly city. Um, and so we're just trying to reemphasize that. Go BPD! Uh, it's the fourth year we've had it here as the Fill the Truck event. Uh, beneficiary is Hope Family Services. Uh, this year we expected to fill both our trucks. We had our hostage negotiation vehicle out here. We had our armored rescue vehicle out here. Um, we have both of them filled to capacity. We had quite a few uh, folks come by with their families. You know, there's a lot going on downtown today. And had quite a few people stop by not aware of it which I'm not quite sure how because we've publicized it heavily on our at Bradenton PD uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram pages. Uh, regardless, uh, those families came by, weren't aware of it, they made cash donations. That's true. So it's really, really well done. I'm not sure in the final numbers, we always wait. Uh, we have a couple other things going on with this. One is uh, an Amazon gift link on those same social media pages. Uh, where folks can if they couldn't make it down here or they just want to make a donation online they make that donation through Amazon they are able to go in and select a gift and then it gets delivered to the station so then it's earmarked for it we know exactly what it's for and we go from there well because it's for Hope Family Services really those victims it's sort of unseen victims a lot of times of domestic violence that are children uh, so it's children really anywhere from infancy up through teenagers. A lot of time the teenagers are the ones who are neglected when people think about getting gifts. They get them for much younger children. Uh, so that's one thing that we really, we've seen a lot, of, a lot of age appropriate toys across all ages. It's always a great turnout. It's always something that's, it's heartwarming. You know, you, you see the trucks that start empty 
and then slowly you wonder when that crowd of people is going to start showing up and then we know there's a couple of different groups that show up uh brett with brent with the gator lounge has a group of bikers that come uh there's another group of bikers that came before that uh we know that that's going to bring a lot of quick hits but then throughout the day uh really up until just about now we've had people walking up i just had a neighbor walk up with a bag of uh, stuffed animals, which is is great. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, like I said, with the families who've come to town, come downtown for other events today, and walked up to wonder what was going on. I see police interacting. They see, you know, the explorers are here, uh, and it's really something they want to check out and find out what's going on. That helps this year with they make a donation. It helps next year. They spread the word. They go to our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram pages. And it spreads the word not only about what we're doing, but also about helping out Hope Family Services. Well, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all the, all our, uh, every, anybody hearing my voice right now. Uh, really, what we like to, like to people to think is, much like if they're on Amazon, buying gifts for their family, think about what else can I do? And it's that next, that next click. The next click is going to be a gift that's going to go to Hope Family Services. If they're at a store, the next gift they're going to buy is going to be something for Hope Family Services. The Explorers program is important because it reaches out to the, the kids of the, of the community. Uh, it gives them opportunity to see firsthand what law enforcement does. It includes them in our so It gives them opportunity to actually see the ins and outs of being a police officer. Um, furthermore than that, it also gives them that invitation to join our force when they reach a certain age. Uh, it's a great way to give back to the community and also, you know, invites kids from all over to start including including themselves in our community to do, to do a lot of things. Uh, for me, I've learned a lot about not only how to be an officer, um, a future officer, but also how to be a more responsible civilian. Uh, we've done active shooter scenarios, what to do if you were a civilian. Um, we've done traffic stops. We've done other things like that. So I've learned quite a bit, and um, it's definitely going to be useful for the future if I become a police officer or even just as a regular civilian? Uh, we have approximately 12 members of our Explorer at this time and we're still adding. Um, today, nine of those uh, individuals showed up on their Saturday to donate their, their off time to come out and, and do something positive in the community. Um, they were here in the early break of dawn and they helped with every, everything going on. So it was a great turnout. And honestly, we, we couldn't do it without them. They actually put a, a, a positive step forward towards in the community. To, to give a, such a great turnout, so it was really great. I tell them to do better than me. Um, I'm, I'm somewhere in a good spot right now, but I always recommend people to go above and beyond, uh, not only to join out in the community as much as they can, but even in their school and their household, just do as much as you can and really push forward. Um, even when no one's watching and even when someone is watching, it's for the better for yourself and for everyone, and overall it helps out the community. For, for the community, they can they can they can see the the greatness the greatness about it um, because it's it's the newer generation showing that they want to do something more with their life and do some more in the in the community um, not only as a law enforcement but as he said just as civilian as well it, it lays us a, a foundation for kids who may not have it and it's an opportunity for them to come in and actually uh, start going down a more positive and a, a more positive road in life uh, it gives them resources uh, we offer several different programs to just be there it's more of a you know, if you need help, we're there in any any form and fashion. It provides access to uh, professionals and and the, the the field, right? So um, it's, it's it's very welcoming for uh, the younger generation to gain and for the the citizens to know that they can look forward to a more positive community. To me, it's it's amazing. Um, you know, we in today's time we see everything that's going on, and to to know that the citizens, the community, have one have law enforcement's back and they're just they're there supporting us support the entire community to give back to those who need um it, it's really showing just how unselfish a community can be again we're a friendly city so it's really displaying our efforts to to con continue that motto and to push forward and display that um i think for them it's again they probably feel as amazing as i do because they get to see how the truck gets full they get to help out they get to see young kids just walking up to the truck in amazement. They get to see how big it is and how full of toys it is. And a lot of them wanted to take pictures. So I think they feel just as amazing as I do. They must think it's 
great opportunity and uh, you don't see this every day. It's only once a year, maybe twice a year you get to see it somewhere else, but uh, definitely a great opportunity and we're always encouraging people to join the Explorers program for that reason. Advance their, their life, their skills, um, and it's, it's a great opportunity. Um, a number of ways you can reach out on our social media platforms. Um, you can also come to the Bradenton Police Department uh, down by the Riverwalk, 110th Street West. Come down, ask about it. Um, we meet every Wednesday. We would love to have more people come. You can, you and your, your family can come, your, your guardians per se, and um, participate in a meeting. Um, very sure you, you enjoy it. So um, they come down, get the information, they can join.